Hey guys, salut les amis, ok hallo gebar. Maxime here. I'm going to talk about a new VAC wave, a Linux cheating solution, and a server-sided anti-cheat. Most of what I'm going to talk about is information that I collected from non-official sources, so nothing is 100% certain. There is a rumor that this update, which was larger for Linux users, had something to do with how VAC works. Many cheaters were using Linux to cheat because VAC works differently and you could even say that it doesn't even work at all on that operating system. Since uh, Linux users didn't have to worry about any anti-cheat, they had cheats with all the features, aimbot, wallhack, and the list goes on. Windows users, however, have to pay to get all those features since the cheat developers need to work actively on hiding them from VAC. So the solution from Valve was to implement a new server-sided anti-cheat, something they have been working on for weeks, apparently, and it's now banning people. If you go to vacban.com, you can clearly see that many cheaters have been caught. This is clearly the biggest back wave this year, and that's only right this moment, but it could result to even more bans every day. For people that think Valve are not working on their anti-cheat, here's your proof. Also, the fact that Linux cheat developers have never had to deal with updating their cheat will result in huge delays now for the Linux cheat community. Because of how long you could cheat on Linux without getting caught, this really complicates things. Now, they actually have to care about updating their cheat, which they never needed before, and also rewrite the code from scratch because of the server-sided anti-cheat. This also means that Windows and Mac cheaters are in trouble as well. Seven big providers for non-Linux users have already been confirmed detected, and some of them were alive for over a year. In other words, this is great news for us who hate cheaters and it might be one of the biggest VAC cleanups in a long time. If you're one of the people who got VAC ban, you should know that it's permanent, non-negotiable, and cannot be removed by Steam support. You should also know that Valve can trigger a delayed ban, which means it doesn't matter if you're not cheating anymore, but if you did before, you're screwed. A Reddit user named Give Please Doritos Chips made this very interesting post on Reddit. If you download Band Checker for Steam, which is a Google Chrome plugin, you can use it to see if anyone on your friends list has been banned. You can also use it to see if anyone you recently played with got banned. In case you wondered, I've already removed the people that recently got banned from my friends list. So hopefully we'll be able to play a much cleaner Counter-Strike for a while. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. Go bananas.